Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, we're going to look at how we go about doing isometric dimensions in AutoCAD. When you're doing isometric dimensions, it's three-dimensional, so it's a bit different than doing dimensions for 2D drawings. So how do we go about doing dimensions for isometric drawings in AutoCAD? Firstly, let me say that this video doesn't show you how to do isometric drawings. If you want to learn how to do isometric drawings, I will post a link to a playlist below that will help you with that. This is just strictly focused around dimensions in isometric in AutoCAD. All right, so let's say for example, we want to dimension this line right here. If I click dimension and then I just turn on object snap and turn on endpoint in object snap. So if I click on this endpoint of this line here and click on that endpoint there, it gives me this here. But here it's telling me that this is 47.63. When it's not, the length of this line should be 55. So how would I fix that now? Well, first things first, I would turn off ortho. Once I turn off ortho, I can move like that. And it will give me this length, this distance as 55 here. Right? I'm currently in an aligned dimension, but if I switch to a linear dimension, it would still give me the same thing. So you could use aligned or linear. If linear doesn't work for you, you can try aligned. If aligned doesn't work, you can try linear. So right there, that gives me 55. So now I'm going to bring this dimension out like that. The distance doesn't really matter. You could bring it up by a specific distance and keep that distance uniformed throughout the entire drawing so it looks neat. But for the most part, the distance does not matter. All right, so now what's a, what do I want to do from here now? But this dimension here, it's kind of leaning down. It's not aligned with this line. All right. So how am I going to go about fixing this now? So this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to type dim edit. And what this is going to do is to edit this dimension. And then I'm going to click on oblique here. Or I could type O enter. So I click on oblique. It says select dimension object. So this is the dimension I want to edit. Then I press enter. Now, if I just click on a line that is on the plane or the angle that I want this dimension to be. So for example, if I click anywhere on this line and then click like at the end or anywhere else on that line, then my dimension now comes out like this at that angle, which is the angle that I want it to be at. All right. Also, I could have had it going up instead of coming out. So let's say, for example, I wanted my dimension to be aligned with this line. I'm going up like that instead of coming out. What I could have done is this. When I type dim edit and click on oblique, when I click on the dimension here now and press enter, if I click on this line from down here to up here, it now aligns it with this line so it's now like this instead of going out all right so there's a number of different ways how you can go about it but this one i would rather go out like this so i'm going to cancel that by using ctrl z so now that comes out and that gives me the dimension and i'm going to dimension like just just two more parts because i know that you get the idea let's just do like two more dimensions so if i dimension like that from there to right there bring it out at this 110 not that that would be incorrect this angle here at 110 so if i bring it out like that and then if i am to type dim edit click on the dimension here well first type or click oblique click this dimension press enter and then i want it to come out like this so i'll click on this line here and then click on that line and it's aligned like that now so you get the idea how you would go about doing your dimensions in autocad also you can make your dimensions a different color so that it stands out from the drawing itself now how would you go about dimensioning your isometric circles well to dimension the isometric circles well to dimension your isometric circles there's a number of things that you could do so for example here i could use a leader and i would just click right here in the center all right and then i will just move my mouse up like this anywhere outside of the circle just at a decent distance and i'll type the radius so let's say the radius for this is five 
so I'll type R, always all caps R5. And that says that the radius is five, all right? So that is how you would go about doing your isometric dimensions in AutoCAD. It's pretty simple. It is pretty straightforward, but I know that a lot of people have problems with it sometimes. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe and you can also share the video to help out other people. All right. So thank you for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day. Let me know in the comment section below what other videos you would like for me to do. Thank you for watching.